Hi guys, Blog Tyrant here. Um, today I just want to do a short little video to show you how to give away a free ebook uh, every time somebody subscribes to your blog. Um, a lot of people have asked me how to do this automatically. How do you do it so that every time somebody subscribes, they get sent the ebook automatically? Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, here we are on Blog Tyrant, my side, and you can see over here on the side. Um, this is my form here and my free ebook. Uh, capture 120% more email subscribers overnight. So every time somebody subscribes by email here, their first name and email, they get that free ebook. Um, and a free ebook is just basically a, an article or a, a, something you write out in a Word document and then you convert it to a PDF um, and it's called an ebook. Um, so the better your ebook uh, is, the more valuable people will think it is and the more likely they will be to subscribe to your site. It's, it's a tried and tested tested method that internet marketers have been using for a long time, I highly suggest that you, you do it. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, the first thing you need to do is sign up for Aweber. Now Aweber is what I use, it's what a lot of the big uh, internet marketers use like Darren Rouse and John Chow, uh, Brian Clark, Jeremy Shoemaker, all these guys use Aweber. It's cheap, it's um, really robust, the features are incredible and the support, if you ever have any problems, you just go onto their online chat and um, they help you out straight away, they're amazing. So I've given you a little link uh, for Aweber below this video um, and that is an affiliate link if that bothers you, I'm not sure why it would, um, but some people like to be told that it's an affiliate link so I earn a little commission um, on that if you sign up uh, to Aweber but it doesn't increase the price for you or anything like that so don't worry about it too much. Um, so the first thing we want to do is create that web form. So this form here um, that you see with the first name and email and a bit of the styling, you click web forms up here and then you go down here and click create web form. Um, and what this does is it takes you to Aweber's fantastic um, little web form creator doohickey thing. And it's this thing here, you can see you got all these different web forms to choose from. Um, so you know if your site's about dogs, you click this, this one here called pause and then you click load template and so you get this one with a picture of these puppies here and you know you can drag it and resize it, you can make it bigger or smaller um, you know if you don't like those dogs you can get rid of them, you can get rid of this footer and you can you can change it whatever way you want really um, it, you know you don't need any coding or programming skills and so once you find um, one that you, you're happy with and you've played around with the colors and everything what you do is you click save web form down here so that'll save it for you and then we go over here to publish and now this publish area gives you a few uh, options you can install it yourself or you can get somebody else to do it but you really want to just do it yourself it's really easy that's what I'm showing you so click I'll install my form and then you get these two options here JavaScript or raw HTML um, so you know I just use the JavaScript one you can I think I use raw HTML for mine but JavaScript's easy so you get this bit of code here you just want to right click it select it and then copy so you've copied that bit there. So the next step now is to add that code to our website so that we get this form here in our sidebar. So I'll take you over here to my blog tyrant appearance editor. So if you go down, if you log into your WordPress area and then in the sidebar you'll see appearance, you want to click editor there. Now I'm sure all of you know how to do this pretty well. If you use WordPress you become quite familiar with this area. So once you're in the, the area, the back, you want to find sidebar, sidebar PHP. So we just click that and bring that up. So this is my sidebar and as you'll see here, I've already added mine in as you can probably have figured out. So you can see I've used the HTML one, all this here is the HTML code. Um, so all you're going to do is just right click and click paste and see that's the code from Aweber. So once that's paste it in and saved, so you click update file, that'll appear in um, your sidebar. But I'm going to skip this step because I've already done it. Um, you can see it there, I promise I've done it. Um, so once you've done that, and you've, so you've created the web form, you've added it to your blog, the next thing you want to do is create um, a download page. So what that is, is whenever somebody subscribes to this form here, they're going to get a follow-up message, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But in that follow-up message, they're going to get sent to a download page, um, which is where the ebook is to download. So while we're in WordPress over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go Pages, 
and add new. So what what we're going to do is we're going to create a page, and you can call it anything you like, but you might want to call it your um, ebook download, um, and then create a nice little message for them, um, and add the link in there. So I'll show you the one I've done. So we're just over here in pages. Yep, leave this page. So mine's called your free ebook download. So here it is here. Um, you can see your free ebook download, and then I've given you this message. Thanks so much for subscribing to Blog Tyrant. It means a lot to me, and it does mean a lot to me. So, and then what you can see here, I'll zoom in for you. You've got this link here, A space href equals, and then this is the link of your um, ebook's location online. So it's a PDF, and if it's a small enough PDF, you can upload it here. You just go upload insert, just as as you were going to uh, upload an image. Um, and if it's under two megabytes, I think it is, it'll upload fine. And then all you do is you just add um, that uh, HTML link into uh, your text as if you were just adding a, a regular link. So you're just basically linking to that um, ebook. So what I'll do is I'll click uh, View Page and show you what it looks like. So once you've subscribed to Blog Tyrant, you can test it out if you want. You get sent to this page here, uh, and you can see here. Click here to download your free ebook. So I've given them some instructions, right click, save as. So if we go right click, save link as, um, you know, that saves that um, ebook for them, or you can just click it and the ebook will appear. Uh, so there's, there's the ebook, that's how they get it. So we'll just go back. One important thing for you is what you'll notice is that when you create a page, they automatically appear at the top here in WordPress. So, you know, about blog tire, free updates, and you don't really want that because you want that page to stay hidden uh, until they've subscribed. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't subscribe. So, there's an important plugin that you need called uh, WordPress Exclude Pages. So, just Google Exclude Pages, um, it'll come up if you want to get the information, or you can just do it straight through your dashboard. And what this does is if we go back. Uh, to our free ebook download WordPress page, we go over to the side here, it adds this little box here, exclude pages. So you can tick that if you want it to be included in the list at the top, uh, and if you don't, which we don't, you just uncheck that and then hit update and it won't appear. Uh, very handy little plugin. So once you've created this download page, what you need to do then is go back to Aweber and then up the top here, you've got uh, these options. You want to go messages and then follow up. Now, the follow-up messages are messages that get sent to your subscribers automatically. So you can set them at an interval. Um, so if we have a look here, I've got four done at the moment for this particular list. I've got messages one, two, three, four. This one, zero, it, the interval is zero, so it means it gets sent straight away. And that's the free ebook download. Now uh, these other ones, you know, that one comes after four days and that one comes two days after that. So what we're interested here is this free ebook one. So I'm gonna click that just to show you. Now all you have to do in this area is just create a plain text email. So you're going to add a title, your free ebook from the blog tour. Remember, this is an email that's going to get sent to people when they subscribe. So you know, give it a nice subject line. Then here, click basic plain template. Template. You can use another one if you want to, but plain text works well for me. And then down here in the plain text area, you'll see here is the email that people receive. So it says hi first name, and that first name is a personalization. So you go on the side here. And you can choose, you know, their name, first name, last name, all these other things. It's a great little way to make it um, more intimate. And then you give them a nice little thank you message, and then you send them to the link of the page that we just created. So that there, blogtyrant.com, your free ebook download, is indeed this page here where you can just download that PDF. That's going to get sent straight to them. So what you can do is some people attach the ebooks straight to this email. So you go down again and you see here it says attach file. So you can just attach the PDF straight to that email so they don't go back to your blog. Um, that's fine, that works really well. I don't do that because I found that Aweber measures some things by clicks. Um, so unless you have a link that gets clicked in here, it won't show you that the email's been opened uh, in your statistics area. So you want to sort of see that whether people are not only receiving the email but people are also opening the email. So I put this little link in here to get them back to the blog um, to download it to show that it's been opened up. Um, all right, guys, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. It might be a little bit confusing based on this video. So if you have any comments or questions, just 
uh, leave a comment on this video and I'll, I'll drop in periodically and reply to them and help you out. Um, I really hope this helps you get more email subscribers. Alright, see you next time.